and welcome to a Let's Play brought to you by Strategic Simulations Incorporated, which that presents an official Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition computer product. This is none other than a Let's Play on the Dark Sun World Shattered Lands, a fantasy role-playing epic, Volume 1. Now, I did... I decided to do Dark Sun Shattered Lands simply because of the fact is how I have been doing a whole lot of action adventure games and I thought I'd change the pace and also this video is going to be at least half an hour long or the videos for this let's play simply because the fact is that oh there's gonna be a lot of stuff like for this for instance which is yeah we're going to create some characters well, it's an RPG. You do need characters. Anyways, you use the left and right click to cycle through your characters. We got humans. We got dwarves. We got elves. We got half elves. We got half giants. We got halflings. And we got mulls along with Thrycreens. Our first character is going to be a mull. A mull is essentially a half breed of a dwarf and a human. We're gonna name him Act Atticus, and yeah, of course here we got your classes: fighter, which is your standard warrior; gladiators, which are freaking serious fighter types, which are really hardcore; and of course you got your druids, your clerics, you got your preservers, who are your wizards, your psionicists, or psionist. A psionicist is essentially, or a scion. Which is essentially a guy, who, a person who uses mental powers. You got your rangers, and you got your thieves. Now, I'm going to make this guy a fighter cleric of the fire clerical sphere. And essentially, clerics in this game, they worship elemental spheres. And of course, we're going to choose the psychometabolic, which is P-Memtab, for Psy Disciplines. Simply because of the fact it's got some really good ones. Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to edit my stats because... Ugh, this game can get brutal. And I want to make this guy a mull because, well, his intelligence and his charisma aren't going to matter much, but his strength and his constitution are going to be very good because I'm going to have this guy into... This guy is going to be chaotic good. Yeah, and essentially this Atticus is going to be a frontline fighter m most of the time. Anyways, there we go. And also, since we're dual classing... Experience is split between classes, and also you get less HP. It's essentially you roll whatever you roll, it's half. Now we're going to make a another character, a half giant by the name of Halton, who is going to be a gladiator. And of course, we're going to edit his stats because whatever. Yeah, his half giants don't really have great dexterity. Or intelligence or essentially they're not they don't exactly have very good mental stats either anyways we're gonna make this guy chaotic neutral he does whatever oh, yeah. and yeah they have a lot of HP which makes them really good frontline fighters now we're going to make a half elf a female half elf by the name of Alora. She is going to be a fighter preserver thief. Give her second metabolics. Whoops, I think I forgot to give Halton uh, psycho metabolics, which I can easily correct. Yeah. I thought it's it's actually better to. I was originally going to make Alora an, an elf, but an el elves don't exactly have a whole lot of HP and she's going this character here is going to be neutral good anyways yeah and unfortunately she's gonna have the slowest progression thief levels though they, they advance pretty quick anyways edit okay no nope, he is good and then now we're gonna have a, a thrycreen and the thing is to note about thrycreens is that considered about their about their inhuman body is that they can't wear things that most cl characters can. Anyways, we're going to make this character a fighter druid psionicist with the and the druid's going to be earth based. And of course, considering she's a druid, uh druids can only be neutral. I 
think that's all. I don't know. It's I've played most of the other uh, editions. I've played mostly like Pathfinder and 3.5, or no, not 3.5, Pathfinder and 5th edition. And I find that, well, mainly with Pathfinder, you can only, you can have druids of any, of almost any alignment as long as it has neutral in it. Anyways, yeah, a Thrycreen is pretty good because, because of their, because of their, uh, wisdom. Anyways, done. And there we go. That's our party. So let's start the game, shall we? By order of the mighty and omnipotent King Tek Tak Tule, all slaves fit to carry a sword shall fight in the arena. Death shall be the gladiator's payment for weakness. Let the games begin by Pethtu... Pethtusil. Yeah. And essentially, I really do like this game. It's been a part of my childhood, and also that is not the... We don't have a dwarf in the party! Though... These aren't... These... Well... One on the left looks similar to Atticus, but whatever. <laughs> it's an opening cutscene. Yeah, we're going into the arena. And also, by the way, this the first few videos are going to be arena. They're going to be fight intensive. And, of course, we are slaves. This day, the mage Kelgor will batter a, battle a fearsome rampager, which are nasty mother... Which are nasty mofos. Watch and enjoy. Do not worry... Atticus, your turn will come soon. Stand back and watch the battle. Now, a funny thing to notice, note, is that sometimes that the the defiler there sometimes wins, but usually he gets his ass handed to him by the rampager. And step forth. Before we actually step forth, yeah, you can change your cursor by right-clicking. We want the I one, and we want to press this to collapse the party, so... And essentially, I want to do that, so I can cast Bless. Improves Thacko of friendly characters by one. And essentially, Thacko is short for to hit armor class zero. It's a rather weird thing. I've I've never really played first or second edition AD&D, so... Ugh, it's really hard to... Bleh. And there we go. All of them are blessed. Now, something I want to do is to use biofeedback with everybody. Well, except for Selexat, because unfortunately she doesn't have it. And of course, we're going to have her use it. And let's get into the ring. Citizens of Draj, before you is a handful of gladiators. Watch and be entertained as they fight to the death with the denizens of our land. Behold the gift of our King Tiktaktule, vicious defender of Draj, the gift of battle and death. Monster Trainer, release your horde! And here's our first battle. And also the thing is about psionic uh, about psionic powers is that they actually have a they actually do have a cost to maintain each round. And also the thing is about psycho uh, or about biofeedback. Maybe they're acceptable gladiators after all. Is that it increases your AC by one and it reduces the damage by two. Maybe they're acceptable gladiators after all. And of course, Halton's gonna f miss. <laughs> also, Thrycreens have four attacks, which are four claws, and they have a bite attack, which I believe can paralyze. Attention, gladiators, go back to the pens to heal your wounds. The citizens of Draj grow impatient with delays. The crowd throws money down at you. Enjoy your victory while you can. You will eventually meet your match. Will you yell back something to the at the announcer? Yes. Is that the best you can do? I want to fight again. Now, you're the best announcer I've seen. I want to fight again now. So anxious to kill, are we? tech tac delay would be pleased. Monster Trainer, another fight for our heroes. Yeah, essentially, I need a lot of experience. And also, he's anticipating lunch. Poor dude. Uh, help! Water! Just a little! I'll untie you. His body falls to the ground lifelessly. Yeah, he's been out here too long. And oh boy! I think I might have bitten off more than I could chew. Anyways, here we go. Save that. And let's go fight them all! Wait, do I still have... 
Ah. Effects. Okay, we still have at, le at least have blasts. We want to hit that. Yeah, something we want to do first is hit that defiler. Defilers are essentially are nasty. Oh, oh he just made it. And also, a thing to note is that when you get hit as a caster, you can't cast spells for that round. Yeah, it kind of sucks. These gladiators are tough, aren't they? And... Ooh, tried to use the psionic power on me, eh? And... Also, the thing is about... Since Alora's a thief, she actually does get more attacks if the enemy is behind. Kill the damn thing! Not a surprise that the monster died. It had been sick anyway. Could barely stand, it was so weak! And finish that thing off. The crowd is awed by your awesome fighting ability. They begin chanting your name and tossing money to, down to the arena floor. <sighs> the gladiators seem to have some fight in them. Even a wounded rat will fight if cornered. No, I don't want to... Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to fight them anyways. Let's, gra let's grab these clubs, shall we? And... One more? Eh, two more. Anyways, yeah, we also... There's a bone... Githia? Githica? Or something? I don't know. It's a really weird weapon. That, if you're playing the actual tabletop, uh, the Thrycreens are actually proficient with that. Oh, and here's some boots. They don't really... Leather boots, they don't really add anything. But we're going to equip it anyways. I'm going to give this to Alora. And we're essentially going to give everybody a club. Well, except Selexat, because, well, she has her claws. And I'm just going to hang hang on to this. Why not? And also, Obsidian Cathtica or something. It's a really rather weird name. Yeah, 1d6 plus 2. Anybody can use it, but I'm going to keep it on my Thrycreen. There we go, we got our statistics all there. Anyways, there's also a dude over here. He's got a club, don't really care. Tied up prisoner. Ugh, I'm so thirsty. Help me! <laughs> Should I untie you? Yes! We're gonna get water. Ugh, help! Water! Just a little! Are you gonna die if I free you? He cut him from his bonds, and unfortunately he falls unconscious, and now he's a delirious man. Anyways, let's get out. Because if you stay in the arena long enough, you'll eventually... They eventually get sick and tired of your crap, so they eventually release Cthulhu in power armor. Roll initiative, biznitches. No. <laughs> yeah, they just release more monsters, and it's not a good idea. These are the slave pens. I'm Kurzak. Hello, Kurzak. Leader of the guards, follow me. I'm here to lead you to your cell. Tell me about your job. Guard work is pretty routine. I take them to the arena. Sometimes I bring them back to the pens. Pete's working on the pyramids. Uh, working on the pyramids? Yes. That's what most of the people are working on. Why is the pyramid being built? The pyramid is being built for the Sorcerer King. Everything's being slowed down since his disappearance, but that's all you're entitled to know. Uh, let's see. How well guarded are the exits? The only exit you'll see is the is the monster that kills you. How many slaves escaped? No one escapes. Keep in line, or else. Who is the half giant? Oh, that's the monster trainer. Or his name is Leg Crusher. He's not too bright, but he's good with monsters. Could you get me some water? I'm not your water boy! However, I could sell you an empty flask. If you got 40 ceramic pieces. I'm not interested. Fine, have it your way. Yeah, we can essentially... Get moving, I gotta get back to work. And let's talk to Lake Crusher, shall we? Also, by the way, if you actually hover over things, you can tell whether something's hostile or friendly or if they're neutral. Of course, flashing yellow means... is friendly. Gray is neutral, and black is hostile. I'm... It's Kurzak you want to talk to. I'm just the monster trainer. What am I fighting next? I don't know. It's too early to tell. 
Anyways, we want to do some stuff here. All right, go through the door. There's a place to rest down the East Hall. I'll come to get you when it's time for your next fight. If you do want to fight before that, knock on the door. Yeah. Yeah, we can. It's a good thing to do that if you want to get some experience. Yeah, and this is why I didn't want to pay him. Empty water pot. Use, get. Use that. And you know what? Also, you can use one, two, three, four, and five. And six. Five and six will essentially collapse the party or have them show. We want Allura. Did you stash the stuff in the haystack? Quiet! Someone's outside the door! Is it time to break out yet? Shh! Not yet. Now, something that I want to do is open the door. And you see this big haystack? If you actually inspect it, you can use it. Search through the haystack, you don't find anything of interest. You can actually search through it and find some stuff. And an old... Laura reaches her hand into the haystack and comes out with an old table leg, which could be used as a club. But I already got a bunch of those. Anyways... Oh, damn it. Pieces of a pot. Don't find anything of interest. Here's another one. Yeah, there's a few things that you you can get some items, and of course you can get bugs. Hello, little buggy, 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 bug. Let's try and do this again. Ow! Yeah, sometimes you get hurt. Search through the sink. And ow! You son of a. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you can get a gem or a bow needle, which give which gives a little bit of experience. Also, that that dude didn't do well. Anyways. I'm quick enough. Yeah. I wouldn't open that door. Why not? It's haunted. Plain and simple. There's nothing more to say. Try to open the door. Yes. Door doesn't open. It seems sturdy. Pick the lock. You successfully picked the lock. Yeah, that's why I want a thief. A breeze picks up through the room. Suddenly clo- Oh, a breeze picks up in the room suddenly. Closing the door. And Laura hears a secret door shut and lock. Yeah, that was essentially a zombie. And also, Laura finds some suspicious cracks in the wall. With a little searching, she finds the button on the north wall. And of course, we want to get a little closer. And Laura hears a click as the secret door to the west opens. Laura receives 250 experience points. Here we got a chest. We want to get that. Switch to Halton because, well, also with strength, if you have a good amount of strength, you can get some. St you can carry a lot of stuff. And here we got some bone scale chest armor and four wooden arrows, which are plus three. Just put that in there for now. And also, a thing to note is that in the world, in the world of Athis, metals are actually extremely hard to come by. Which is why they use ceramic coins. And here we got a gem that's worth 1,500. Taking that. And here we go. There's no handles on this side of the door. Take the hinges off the door. With a little work, you completely remove the door. Yeah! Half the system! Anyways, here's something. Okay. Something that I am going to do is save. Use my mid-save. And let's see if I switch to Laura. Merzol. Merzol. Go talk to Scar and his men. Maybe they could use some raw recruits. Ha! I'm Alora. What do I care what your name is? I'm Merzol. And I'm the toughest son of a rampager you'll ever meet. I heard you talking about an escape. So you heard of my escape plans. I'll tell you what. Everybody in my gang has been in the arena three times. You come back after two more fights in the arena, and you can be in a game, gang and escape with us. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Essentially, the yeah, there are multiple ways to get out of the arena. This is one of them. What did you stash in the haystack? Uh, haystack? What haystack? Oh, that haystack. Wait a minute. Why do you think there's something in the haystack? You spying on us? 
Eh, we all have haystacks that are sleep on. Don't play smart with me! You asked about the particular haystack. How did you know? Change the subject. Not so fast! Eh, goodbye. Yeah, if you're not gonna answer my questions, I'm gonna have to kill you! Yeah, and they're hostile! And we're gonna screw these guys up HARD! Something I like doing is get a little bit of extra experience. And Allura, get behind, and back attack! Ow! And... Oh, oh, come on! Yeah, alright, here's why... Yeah, I killed him for Bone Brigandine Arm Armor. Not really a difference in that. Also, I do want to grab some extra shields, and also obsidian, an obsidian longsword. Yeah, weapons, the thing to note is that weapons in this game break randomly. A haystack. Search the haystack? Yes. You find a large stack of ceramic pieces. A hundred to be specific. Anyways, press I. Equip the bone brigandine. Drop it. Also, select that. She can actually use the shield without taking a penalty. Also, yeah, do that. And open the chest, put that in there. And essentially give everybody some arm armor. Do need some leg armor for Halton, but we'll get some later. Hmm. Must have. Did I search everyone? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Also, the <laughs> this arm armor looks like a sausage. Sausage owls. Hmm, I like sausages. Do you like sausages? And here we go. Mid save. Yeah, whole lot of talking and things like that. Gilal. Hello, who are you? And what do you want? I'm Alora. It's nice to meet you, Alora. I'm Gilal. Why are you here? I stole a loaf of bread to feed my family. They were starving. I had no other choice. A neighbor turned me in for the reward money. His family was starving too. Ooh, yeah, and essentially it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in this in this place, in the world of Athos. How long have you been in here? I've been in here for a, I've been here for a couple of months. And also the thing is, water is also the most precious thing in this world. What's all this straw for? That's what... That's... It's what we sleep on, of course. Dragge's gladiators may be respected, but we still sleep on the cold ground. Well, it's better sleeping on cold ground than in the desert. Because, ugh. Have you fought in the arena? After I was arrested, I was immediately thrown into the arena with five other gladiators to fight a pack of screamer beetles. I was the only survivor. Luckily, I haven't fought since. What creatures do gladiators fight? Initially, all you fight are screamer beaters and slicks. Later, they'll throw in some wild moles and renegade halflings at you. Once you get real good, they'll start putting you with things like mountain stalkers. Oh god, mountain stalkers. I'm glad I never got that far. I wouldn't have survived it. Who else are in the slate pens? The only pl person I've talked to is Trusty. Who is the person who told us not to go in the door? Are there many guards here? I'm not sure. I was brought here by Kurzak. And I saw a few guards in the guard station to the north. Other than that, other than them, I'm not sure. Has anyone escaped from here? Anyone? Has anyone escaped? I think... I... Oh, my head! The pain! Are you alright? I don't know. I feel fine now. What happened? A sharp pain went searing through my head. Yeah... Also, something I want to do first is, of course, before Kurzak comes to get me, I want to rest and, of course, save it. Yeah, I'm going to have a mid-save, so that way I know everything's going to be alright for these videos. And, of course, the reason I'm making these videos half an hour is because, well, they don't take that much. And why not? Let's see. Trusty. You're the new glad gladiators. Pretty scrawny. Have you seen Halton? You should be thankful you're here and not in the villages. Did I ever tell you about how I got 
To be trusty? No. After a contest, I was escorted back here when a stalker broke out. It attacked the leader of the guards, who was petrified. I grabbed the long sword he dropped and slew the stalker. The main guard let me stay on as a helper in the arena pens. And I'm Alora. Yes, yes, I remember you. I'm not so old that I can't remember a name. But we haven't met until today. So we haven't. No. Well, I'm the trusty. And that is what you may call me. For I haven't any other name. Nope, no other name. What villages? Did I mention the villages? There are groups of free people who have banded together over the years. The cities, the city hates them because they work harder than city folk and won't buckle under tectoctile. What do you know about the slave pens? What do you want to know? Yeah, this guy has a lot to say. Anyone ever get out of here? Sure, they get dragged off to fertilize the fields every day. Yeah, essentially they come out as corpses. Anyone get out of here alive? Some do. Guards claim to get them all, but I know some make it. They have to hide out in the desert, though. The Templars would catch them in the city. How well guarded is the place? Guarded as well, well as any slave pen is guarded. Although I've heard rumors of people escaping in my years here. Who are the leaders of the slave pens? A Templar makes all the major decisions. Like like who fights in the arena. Kurzak is the head guard. Other than that, there's just other serfs who doing various jobs. How many guards are here? Lately, there haven't been as many. Guards are being moved out, a few at a time. Why are the guards being moved? I don't know why. Don't know, but the army has been training extensively. Can any of the guards be bribed? Kurzak, the one who takes you to the arena, likes money. Don't expect too much from him, though. Takes more money than you have to buy freedom. Ah, uh, let's change the subject. Who else is in the slave pens? Yeah! Uh, f uh, Gilla is the woman who sits by herself. Scar and his gang is south in the cell in the southwest. Merzel and his gang used to have it the northeast because we beat the crap out of them. Dinos has a special cell in the southwest. Merlon, the little weasel, is in a room to the west. What can you tell me about Dinos? Dinos is an extraordinary cook. When the Templar off the pens caught wind of his talents, Dinos was taken to his person. As his personal chef, Dinos hasn't fought in the arena since. He has moved into a suite of rooms to the south. Uh, how can I get to Dinos? I have a key. Go south. It'll be the second. Would you like to meet Dinos? Uh, yes. But before we do that, use the door. Try to pick the lock. See, can I pick it? Yeah. You can keep trying. You successfully picked the lock. Okay, it's open. Don't tell anyone I did this for you. I'm going to get back to work. Allura receives 200 experience points. Yeah. And of course, before the last few minutes, I want to do this. Would you like to fill up the water jug? Yes. Allura receives 200 experience points. Yeah, you need... Allura needs a lot because preservers... They need crap tons of experience, but luckily she's a fight. She also has fighter and thief, which makes up for that. Well, excuse me. Holy crap! Sorry about that. Anyways, let's search the cupboard. Search through the wardrobe. Yes. Ah, uh, don't trust Pethicul. Uh, Rum just through the cabinet and finds Mrs. Card into the wood. Yes. Don't find anything of interest. Use. What? Ow. Pot fell on her head. Damn, Pot! I don't think she wants to get high. After Allura rummages through the cabinet and finds a piece of magic fruit, which is essentially purple grapes. And the thing is about fruit in this game is that they're essentially your potions. The wardrobe is empty. And I'm afraid that's going to be it for this video. I've been the Northern Star Dragon. This has been Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands, and I shall see you in the next video.